Welcome to Forensic Detectives. I am Dr. Gus, your gas meter, gas detector, folks. And today I am your nitrogen, correct nitrogen gas detector expert. N2. We're not talking about NOx, NO2, NO, or anything like that. Pure, boring, basic, inert nitrogen gas. And actually, nitrogen is the most dominant, most abundant gas in our atmosphere. It takes up about 78, 79 or so percent in our atmosphere. The rest is oxygen and there's a small residual of argon, hydrogen and some others. Okay, folks. So in other words, nitrogen and oxygen are very complementary. Okay, so the inverse of the other could be derived. So if we know there's 21 percent of oxygen in the atmosphere, then 100 minus 21 is 79 or so. And we know that is the residual amount or the majority residual amount because it is the majority of the atmosphere. So I get many calls, Dr. Kaz, I'm looking for a nitrogen gas detector. Dr. Kaz, what can we do with our nitrogen gas leaks? Dr. Kaz, what must my people wear when they're working with nitrogen, nitrogen? Um, folks, look, nitrogen is dangerous because it can deplete the oxygen level below 21%. Okay, folks, that is the problem here. And if oxygen goes down, we can be harmed. There'll be low amounts of oxygen to breathe and asphyxiation comes on and there will be a big problem. We'll basically suffocate. So it's important to actually monitor the oxygen, not the nitrogen, not the nitrogen. Many, many gas detectors called nitrogen gas detectors are actually, are actually oxygen gas detectors. I'll repeat that many nitrogen gas detectors that are sold are actually oxygen gas detectors. Likewise, we try and capture that market. So we have nitrogen gas detectors. Dr. Kaz markets his oxygen gas detectors as nitrogen gas detectors because most folks out there don't understand this subtlety. They are looking for a nitrogen gas detector, but in fact, as a matter of fact, they should be looking for an oxygen gas detector. That is what makes sense. Oxygen is the gas of life. That is what we must monitor. It preserves life. So oxygen is the most important. Okay, folks. Now, where am I going with this? And what is Dr. Koz talking about? Now, there are three main products. There are three main groups of people that I get calls from. And this is the way it goes. Dr. Kaz, I'm storing nitrogen and I need something to monitor 24 seven our storage facility. Not a problem. We have our oxygen fixed wall, our oxygen fixed wall mount version that detects oxygen continuously. So it's monitoring oxygen molecules at the bottom here where the sensor exists. We have gas here to give you a quick demo, bang. And if there's a depletion of oxygen, if there's a depletion of oxygen, because there's a nitrogen leak, you're gonna get this buzzer and you're gonna get the LED. It even has relays to actually alarm another um, fan or another light, another buzzer at some remote location. So there are actually relays that can actually switch up to one kilowatt of power to then give you another level of alarming, which is fantastic. Now, the second call goes something like this. Dr. Guys, I have nitrogen lines and I need to check to make sure there is no leaks so it doesn't pose a dangerous situation to my employees. Not a problem. We have a oxygen analyzer with a built-in pump. Let me just turn on the pump here. This is our FD600 O2. It has a, as you can see right over here, folks, a two inch stainless steel needle. One could go to the different lines and analyze if there is a nitrogen link. If there is a nitrogen link, guess what? It's gonna show up as a depleted, as a reduced oxygen level. Pretty simple, there's a built-in pump and it is quite easy to go around and start performing that point sampling type of exercise, okay, folks? The third call, Turn off the pump right there. The third call goes something like this. Dr. Kaz, we work with nitrogen and I wanna make sure my people throughout the day um, are not exposed to nitrogen and they know and they have confidence in the air they are breathing. 
what we're talking about in that situation is personal protection. We need a guy like this. This is our FD9802 version where you can pop on, it has a little alligator belt clip there, bang, pop it on your pocket, bang, pop it on your belt clip, bang, pop it on your bag, and have it with you throughout the day. So employees, technicians, lab workers, etc., etc., can feel confident that they're not breathing in any depleted oxygen, okay, folks? And this is mobile, so there could be one room there, one room there, another room there, and they're taking it with them continuously, okay, folks? So these are the classes of different oxygen depletion slash nitrogen gas detectors that we have and that Dr. Koz is promoting under the forensics detectors banner. So we are very clear and understand why we have nitrogen gas detectors and oxygen gas detectors. They're actually the same thing. Now, there is that 1%, that 1% of those folks out there that actually do need to measure nitrogen with a nitrogen sensor. There are two ways of measuring nitrogen. That is with an ultrasonic sensor and a thermal conductivity sensor. That's a separate discussion. That's a separate video for another day. You could call us or come to us, email us for that information. But that is a very small amount of people out there that have that requirement. But for today, for 99% of you, that should answer most of your questions when it comes to nitrogen gas monitoring, nitrogen gas detection, nitrogen gas in my atmosphere. Okay, folks, look, till then, be well, be safe, easy on the chocolate. See you soon.